Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Cucumber tutorial series. So today in this video, we are going to see about how we can integrate the Cucumber uh, reporting for the Cucumber projects. Okay, so there are a lot of Cucumber, I mean, uh, reporting plugins available for the report side. Uh, you can use the, some third-party plugin also, or you can use the some uh, inbuilt report services that is coming from the Cucumber. Okay, so in our last video also, we have seen how to generate this, I mean, Cucumber report that is that is basically come out of from the Cucumber team. Okay. So this report will be maintained in the Cucumber Cloud service. Uh, it will be available only for one day. Okay. So if you want to take it for a feature reference node, then that, that will be destroyed. Okay. And there are some other inbuilt reporting plugin also. So we have seen like a pretty HTML, JSON, and XML in the last video, right? So we have seen this pretty format HTML, JSON, XML that is being created here. Right. So this is HTML and this is JSON and XML report. So along with this, uh, we have some Third party plugins also available, like we can see we have some Allo report and we have this uh, Cucumber report plugin and we have Cucumber report and there are a lot of extern report also available. So I have created the, all the videos regarding the report, like what are the possible reports that we are using for like Allo, extend and this Cucumber, right? So this Cucumber also I have, I have made one video, okay, that is available in my um, Cucumber Selenium report plugin, I mean report plug playlist. Okay, you can go to my channel and you can check for Selenium report types. So there I have created all the maximum report that is being used in the industry. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see about this Cucumber report plugin, uh, which is a Cucumber plugin, which uses the pretty HTML report using the Cucumber reporting. Okay, so this is one of the project uh, that is being uh, created by this particular third party uh, team. Okay. So if you want to use this Cucumber report plugin and what we have to know, we have, and, and they have, I mean, also using this, they have multiple reporting services also, okay? So if you want to use this one, so you have to use dependency, this particular dependency, I'm going to copy it here and I'm going to have it in my form.xml, okay? So after this, you can have as a, as a reporting, as a configured optional also. So what you have to know, you have to create one Cucumber hyphen reporting dot property file. In that property file, you can give your project name and you can give your build number. So these are the keys that they have defined. Okay. So if you if you use all these keys, then all the values will be will be coming in the, your report also. Okay. So this is optional. Otherwise, what you can do know if you want to use Cucumber CLI along with this particular plugin, then you can use like this. Okay. And in this case, uh, we are going to use as a JUnit runner. So if you want to use it as a JUnit runner, what we have to know, you have to use this particular plugin. Okay. I'm copying the, just this plugin and I'm going to Eclipse. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay. And let me comment out all these report types because we are going to generate only this particular report. Okay. Which is Cucumber report, Cucumber HTML report. That is what we are going to generate here. Okay. So this is called Cucumber report plugin. In this, we are going to generate this Cucumber report. So now, uh, if you go to, they have some other reporting also. So now, if you go to this one, yeah, this Cucumber report also you can use. So if you want to use this particular Cucumber report, I mean, both are same. It is, I mean, so look, look like they're similar to each other. So you can use this particular dependency and in your JUnit runner class, you can define all these properties, okay? So instead of using this one and going in, defining in the property file, so you can use this particular plugin also. I mean, this particular dependency. So these details you have to provide in the, your test and, I mean, your JUnit runner class. So here you have to provide in the after class method. So when you provide all these details, so your report will be generated. For example, what is your report bill number? Or what is your project name? Or what is the platform that you are running? What is the browser? So if you give all this, so the report will be generated along with all the details in the HTML report. Okay. So now we have added this dependency and we have added this plugin. So now I'm going to run this. So make sure you are using the JUnit runner. Okay. The, and as per this documentation, so they have clearly told it has to be used only for the Cucumber JUnit runner. Okay. So I'm using as a JUnit runner. I'm going to execute them. I'm getting some error. Let me see. Okay, so if at all, if you are facing this issue, which is uh, no class definition found error, Ivo, Cucumber, Jerkin, Jerkin, Parser, right? So it is looking for particular dependency that is for the Jerkin Parser. So I have already dependency with me. So I'm just going to copy paste here. You can also get it from the Maven Central. 
by going to io.gopover you have to copy this uh, jerkin gherkin uh, dependency okay so after this just update your form.xml so now i am going to run this so now we have given this this plugin report it has to be generated under the target slash cucumber okay so under the target we have cucumber folder so under this cucumber you will be getting as a cucumber html report folder okay so now i am going to run this okay our test is started now Okay, it got executed. So now you can see I'm going to refresh the project under this Cucumber folder, right? So here also you can see line number here. So .NET uh, master dot Cucumber report parser parser JSON files. Okay, because this dependency, right? So this is also coming from the uh, this one only. Okay, dot .NET master through office. So that is what the, I mean. It's a kind of like an indication where you can see. So your report got i mean something i mean uh, your report has been parsed successfully okay now i'm going to refresh the project level so now you can see this got created this particular folder which is cucumber hyphen html hyphen reports okay now let's go to this particular uh, file direction file directory under this i can see this something called overview failures overview tags overview steps everything you can any any i mean you can open any one of them so the report will open like this okay so in the feature file, uh, so we have executed only only the Bing search. So now if we go, you know, I'm just executing only the Bing feature file. So we have only one feature file got executed. Under this, we have this tags. So these are the tags that is being used by the particular feature file. And then we have step also. And when you go for a failure, so you can see the failure that is being attached to all this, uh, that error message, right? It is being attached to the report. Okay, now we are able to successfully generate the report. And here you can see the project name is coming as a no name because we have not defined this cucumber properties right so if you add this cucumber properties to your project and if you define the project name build number everything so you will be getting all the details in your report as well. okay it is very straightforward uh, you can add one file okay that is uh, under this particular okay so the reporter reads configuration from the property file configure via system property okay so you can create one property file under this you can have all this possible i mean all this uh, keys to generate the report uh, and the next one is so now if you want to attach the screenshots uh, to the particular failure cases right so we are going to the hooks uh, in this case i'm not using the hooks so when i create the framework level i will go by all the setup one by one how to use the manager hooks the driver factory everything so in this case uh, my hooks is after tag that is in the particular step definition. So here, if any scenario fails, I have to take the screenshot immediately, okay? So that's the reason we are going to uh, write the, the take screenshot method in the after books, okay? So here, uh, we have to take the scenario first. So I'm just giving us a scenario, as a scenario, as a variable, okay? So now here we are going to take the screenshot. Okay, before that, when I want to take the screenshot, if my scenario get fails, okay, is failed method is there. If my scenario is failed, I have to take the screenshot. So we are going to use the take screenshot from the Selenium. Uh, okay, take screenshot. And I'm attaching the driver. So after the taking a screenshot, uh, we have to store it into some output type file format. So I'm going to store this, uh, get as screenshot as, you can use different type of output file. So in the output type, you can use file or you can use the bytes or you can use the base 64. In this case, I'm going to use the term bytes. Okay, since we are store, I mean, taking as a bytes, I'm going to store it in the byte variable. A, a screenshot okay so now after this so we have taken the screenshot and we have stored it in the byte variable now we have to attach them into our report okay so scenario dot attach okay so in the attach you can see it is asking for the byte data that is screenshot and the media type which is kind of like image or png or jpeg also you can give and the string name 
right? The name, anything you can give for yourself, indication, it can be your scenario name or something else also. So here, the image type, media type is image slash PNG. And here you can give anything. So for example, I'm giving us uh, a scenario file taking name chart. Okay, so this is how we have, I mean, I have given. So now after this, so what happens, whenever the scenario get failures, it will come to this after tag, it will take this screenshot and it will attach to the report. So now I'm going to the test runner, I'm going to run this. It got executed. So now let's go to the report. Let, let's just do the reference on this particular report. Okay. And if I go to the failure tab under this failure, so if you go to the hooks, because we are taking a screenshot under the hooks, correct? So after the hooks, after hooks. So now here you can see failed taking screenshot. This is a name that is coming from my attached screen, right? So this is a method which is attached. So this is a keyword. This is a string name that we have given. This is for our reference. Okay. So now when I click on here, you can see the report is getting generated here. Okay, and you can download the report also. I mean, this particular screenshot. Okay, so now this is how we'll attach the, the relevant failed uh, screenshot to the our report. Okay, so instead of if you don't want to provide this, if you want to uh, give it as a scenario name, that is also possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the scenario name. For example, scenario name. So here we are getting this scenario dot get name. So when you provide this, so whatever the scenario name that got failed, so that will be appended to the report for your reference. Okay. So now when we run this, Now, if I go to the report, so earlier it was coming as a fail taking screenshot. So I'm just doing the reference here. So now if I go here, you can see it is coming as a finding some cheese. Okay, that is what my scenario name here. So that is what coming here also. So when I click on this, I can see the report. I mean, I can see the failure screenshot that is being attached to the report. So this is how you have to take the report. Uh, I mean, there are a couple of report plugins also available. So like I said, previous keys. So I in my in my playlist, if you go to the selenium report type so you can see the different types of people like allure extend and cucumber also there so you can refer those okay either you can use this particular report or you can use this cucumber pretty report also both are same and both depends in, i mean both dependencies are same uh, it is kind of like a master project under the master project they have different flavor of the different different reports so you can use this one also by copying this all this and if you are giving it under this particular your test runner after a class method here you can be able to generate the report along with all the details of like what is your project name what is the date a date will be automatically coming so if you want to generate what kind of operating system what kind of browser if you want to run so those details and all you can configure like this okay so this is how we'll generate the report html report this is cucumber html report we generated and to to attach our failures things on to the particular uh, steps definitions on the report side okay and there are multiple reports also available. This is one of the reports. Okay. So that's all about this video. We'll see the next topic in the next video. Thank you, guys.